Right, here we got a new one, genuine Land Rover one as well. I like some more than it is. Keep it clean to the last possible moment. Dry fitted. And you keep this yellow bit in as the installation aid. And hopefully, it's hard to see when I'm lined up here. Make sure it's on there. Well, it's quite tricky to push this on evenly. There we go. That's pretty, pretty close, I've got to say. Whew, might be with that snapped on with a bit of anger but I think I got lucky and it did line up yeah get in there my hands are officially numb they were officially numb about like, three hours ago So I'm going to put all these in and then I'm going to talk them down. I think it's 10 newton meters. I'll put it on the screen and uh, take your installation aid off. Don't need that. Five bolts in and um, we're on our homeward stretch. So this is the oil pan. It's pretty clean actually. It's uh, not much sludge in it at all. So I'm happy with that. I've gone round and cleaned where the gasket's going to go on. And a bit of brake cleaner. Generally, given that I tidy up, happy with that. Looks pretty good. And then one new gasket. No idea which way around it goes. I'm assuming it's got lugs on the top on here, so I think they're going to go up all over. Something like that. That's going to be hard to install. That's generally how it's going to go. Oh, there's lugs on there as well. Right, so I'll get that installed and then get this fitted back. Hopefully start making some constructive progress. That's as best it's going to go on to uh, start with. Uh, there are some pegs just to locate it a little bit and hopefully these other pegs will locate in the top half of the engine uh, block. But it looks a bit, I'd like a few more pegs in there to hold it. It'll be a bit tricky to line up, but once I get a few bolts in, hopefully I'll get it started. There we go, sump is back on, all topped up. Next up. Come on.
So this is the copper, I think it's copper, I'm pretty sure it's copper, spigot. A new one I'm going to use and uh, what a lot of people do is let it soak overnight or so. Um, it's quite porous copper and it will soak up uh, the lubrication of a bit of engine oil. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to add a little bit, it's like baking this. Just going to leave that in there, it should be enough. So these are the clutch plates parts. Call them what you will. These are relatively uh, new, less than 12 months old, I'd say. Hardly any wear on them whatsoever. But they are showing signs of contamination. So, um, before I put these back on, I'm just going to give them a clean over with some brake cleaner on both sides. You can just see where it's slightly oil contamination has got on it. The actual surface isn't too bad at all. Just looking at that there, it looks okay. So I'll give those a clean up and then get the flywheel out. This is the flywheel. This is a bit that goes towards where it was actually leaking from the crank seal. And just by wiping your finger on you can see it has been picking the oil up and then chucking it all over the bell housing. Uh, so I'm going to give this a bit of a clean up this side. On the other side just to give it a good start in life and hopefully this will cure all the clutch judder that I've been having along with a few other things. This thing weighs quite a bit so just be careful with it keep the surfaces as well protected as you possibly can. Alright next up spigot out. This one looks quite new I asked them to renew it when they did the clutch but I'm not sure if they have or not. But Let's give it a go. So that spigot's out and in the end I had to split it. There was no way that was going to come out. I hammered it, hammered it, added grease, paper, everything. And I think it was just distorted whoever put it in last. As with everything else they did on this vehicle. Uh, I've absolutely done a terrible job, so uh, I split it, it wasn't pretty and I'm not happy about it, but it's done. Uh, here's a new one, left to soak for a few days actually in the end. And I've created this little tool which will slide over it and it prevents this from compressing, which obviously the last person to put it in didn't do. And it's just a couple of washers through a socket held on with a kind of a lock nut and another nut to bash it on with so somewhere around here and it just needs to sit slightly below oh, a strange angle here alright so let's get him it's going in pretty nicely nicely just below the recess that's another job down next up flywheel back on I'm going to clean this up a little bit the flywheel needs to tag onto this locking pin so it can only go on one way really I think all right I've got one bolt ready I just want to get this on in position and held on with one bolt and then I want to sort out the talking up There we go. Whew. Went on quite easy in the end. I kind of had it lined up earlier. Alright. Next up, I need to put the flywheel retainer on here somewhere just to stop it spinning while I talk this thing up. So all these bolts need tightening up to 40 Newton meters. 
and then the second level torquing is 90 degree. to go a 90 degree turn on them but that's not that good there right so, so this fell off it's terrible that thing it's the wrong pitch but let's get it done no damage done I need to clean this surface up again and then I can add the clutch plates Alright, here we go, that's that fella on, there is a specific way this goes around, mine's got it marked on this face to the gearbox, sometimes I have the other face to the flywheel, make sure you don't trap anything. Square at the moment has to be set. There we go. I've clicked into place better. And all of these nuts are talked up to 25 newton meters. Right, that's it. All talked up. Uh, 25 newton meters. Uh, easy enough. Make sure everything's clear and remove your locating pin. And hopefully. That's it. Obviously you've had to remove the gearbox to get access to this. I'm doing a refurb on my gearbox and transfer box. Some people do slide the gearbox back and give themselves a little bit of space to do all this adjustment but I think that'd be really tricky having done all of that. So that's it. Installed. Not too tricky to do. Just awkward and time consuming as most things are. Most of the bolts come off pretty easy. Nothing seized on there. Uh, they're not too tight and just the annoying bit is the oil leaking out when you take the sump off uh, that's a messy part so I'll probably put a sheet underneath I'm gonna have to clean all this driveway afterwards anyway so apart from that job done uh, over and out